I'm Anna Mae. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Today I'm going to be sharing a little clothing and accessory and shoe haul with you. Uh, is my dog going to puke? Sparkles was in fact not going to puke. She was just being mad that our neighbor's dogs are in our garden. But I can't let her outside because they'll be mean to you. If you've ever wondered what a 13 year old Bichon looks like, it's this. <laughs> A little lumpy and bumpy, but she's great. Wanna go behind me? Okay, bye! <laughs> no! And we're back again. My dog doesn't always have a barking fit, but when she does, that nothing. So as I've been trying to say for the last five minutes, I'm going to be doing a clothing and accessories haul. Uh, most of the time I try to shop a bit more sustainably, but not always. I have certain parameters, kind of set for myself, but but they aren't necessarily like the most strict. These are just a few things that I've bought over the last maybe month or so. Um, I bought a lot of stuff on, like a lot of stuff, on ASOS and just a few pieces here and there that I really wanted to share with you. I love sharing new pieces that I've found or pieces that I've picked up that I'm going to be styling over on my Instagram at anime.yt. You should definitely follow me on there. So let's just get into the actual clothing. So the first thing's actually not clothing. Uh, it's a headband from, I believe you say it like Lily Sadui. I'm not sure. Um, it is definitely a more expensive headband brand. Uh, you'll probably see their stuff on Instagram. This is not one of their pearl or shell headbands, which are the most like iconic ones. This is just a simple one. I actually got a black one for Christmas and they sell them now in Brown Thomas in Ireland, which is kind of crazy. But when I went in at the like couple days after Christmas myself, my, you know when there's like, you don't even know what life is in those like couple days after Christmas, between Christmas and New Year's, my mom and I decided to go into Limerick and have a look in some of the shops, namely Brown Thomas. And they had these for like 25 euro, which some people are like, that's a shocking amount to pay for a headband. It's not, okay? because I wear a lot of headbands and I'm gonna do a headband collection video so let me know in the comments if you want to see a headband collection video because I'm guessing I have upwards of 20 headbands and I wear them all the time. I love styling headbands. So uh, this is so cute. Obviously it's like a bright blue. I think I just got my hair done. I think it looks really good with having the brighter hair. Uh, I'm gonna wear it so much in the spring and summer. It's not so much like a wintry color. It's obviously why it was on sale but Yes, I'm also losing my voice, so it's gonna come in and out in patches, I'm sorry. I'm in love with this, and I definitely think it was worth it for how much I wear headbands. I don't wear a lot of the knotted style, so I can say it's kind of different. You know, I don't have any, or many blue headbands. So the same day that I picked up that headband in Brown Thomas, I also splashed out and got myself a pair of shoes, which I was unsure about, my mom convinced me to get, and I'm so glad I did. I got Vea, I think that's how you'd say it, Vea sneakers. Ah! Uh, if I can find it, I will leave the exact style listed down below. Uh, I'm trying not to touch the soles because I've like worn these quite a bit since I've gotten them, but I am obsessed. I'm not really a sneaker girl, um, but I really was like into like cool girl European style, like. You know what I mean? Blouses and jeans and runners and cute things like that. So I'm obsessed with these. I just got them in black in like the most classic style. Uh, I thought it was navy. Turns out it's black, but still it kind of looks navy, if I'm being totally honest. They're quite comfortable. They need to be broken in a little bit, but they're also kind of dirty. I should clean them. But these were such a good purchase. Yes, they're pricey, but I love them. I've worn those shoes so much already and I know I'm just gonna continue wearing them so much, especially in like spring and summer. Fantastic, I love them. Like they're not immediately the most comfortable shoe, but they're not uncomfortable, you know what I mean? And if you don't know, Vea are a more sustainable sneaker brand. I'll link them down below. You can see me wearing them in like all of my Riga posts from it on Instagram, but I believe they're not actually leather. It's like a type of canvas and they're like a more high quality sustainable shoe. So that's very exciting. We love to see that. These are like the cool things that I got before I go into like just like the ASOS stuff. So obviously my fancy headband, fancy shoes, and now this t-shirt, 
which is from Black and Beach. Uh, Black and Beach is like a, I think it's, it's quite a small online store. Uh, it's based in the UK. I think the woman who runs it, I think she runs it, it lives in Wales, but I think she's Irish, which is why I was like, ayy. Um, if you are aware of the comedian Ashling B, she often like plugs their Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, they have lots of very cool feminist kind of clothing and accessories and badges and pins, etc. It's all like very feminist, but intersectional feminism is kind of what they're about. And they have some like funny political stuff as well, like uh, politically homeless and uh, bitches against Brexit. We like that one. But I got the Liberté, Egalité, Sorarité t-shirt in charcoal with pink. I'll link it down below because it's not expensive at all. Uh, it's like 24 euro I think um, and I got a medium I haven't tried it on yet but it's in this really cool like drop shadow print uh, they had an issue actually with this t-shirt with the like font and design of this like obviously you cannot trademark these words because they have a history <laughs> obviously but a large brand I think it was very in the UK uh, like stole this design which is like shady but I love it. I had kind of thought about getting their t-shirts for a while and then I saw that and I was like, oh, I should. And then they were talking about them and I saw the price and I was like, okay, I'm just, I'm gonna get one. So I like t-shirts like this. I've become, like, who am I with the, like, sneakers, t-shirts? I don't know. I'm not gonna do a try on in this haul because all of these things you will be, like, seeing on my Instagram or else they're, like, really not seasonal. So be sure to follow me on Instagram. I will continue to plug my Instagram. It's at anime.yt but I love this t-shirt, I'm very excited to wear it. Uh, the only thing is, I'm like, oh, I go to school with like French people or people who like speak French as well, like really well. Uh, so I'm like, am I that idiot who has something in French written on their t-shirt? I don't know, I don't speak French at all. And then from ASOS, some of the ASOS stuff is better because it's organic cotton and people are like, well, it's with organic cotton. It's because it's safer for the farmers as well as people who are processing the material and then in general for the environment that's why organic cotton is better it's not about you and the end product it's about the production level so this is just a plain gray long sleeve t-shirt from asos but it's their organic cotton line and it is thick and soft and it actually has a really nice cut i don't know if you can see it actually has like a nice little cut in the waist it's not just straight down so i'm really excited to wear this with my necklaces i have like two necklaces around under here that I wear my monogram necklace and then a little um, Libra necklace because I am I have really embraced my Libra-ness because I didn't really realize how how much I am a like stereotypical Libra that it's like I feel seen so I've just embraced it and I have this cute necklace now from anthropology uh, so I can't wait to like just layer that with these just for school again jeans and my sneakers who is she? I don't know. And then the three other things that I got from ASOS are like summary pieces. So this one was actually on my saved list from the summer. It was still available in my size and was now like eight euro. So again, ASOS design because it's like an okay-ish brand. Um, not great, especially because all their packaging and stuff like that, but you know, a little bit better as you can see it's like kind of a crepe material it's not cotton which I thought it was and it has really cute buttons at the back and it kind of splits at the back just a simple cami top for the summer but I love gingham and I just think this color will be really nice because I'm blonde so and I'm always blonde if you're new here when I said I got my hair done I just got it like freshened Um, I also got another cami top what a shock uh, this was there's kind of a story behind this the reason I ended up ordering all this stuff on ASOS was because it was in my saved, like a lot of these are in my saved list and I was like thinking about for a while. And I had tried to place an order on Everlane because I love Everlane. I planned on getting a few things and then it like couldn't process my payment for any of my cards. And then I, my mom was like, oh, just use my card. And uh, that didn't work either. PayPal didn't work, none of it. So I had to contact to support, but they didn't get back to me for like three days. So one of the things I was going to get was one of their clean silk tops but the colour was either like grey white or pale pink and without fake tan my two skin colours are either grey white or pale pink so I was like 
Oh, I don't know how good that's gonna look, but I decided to go with the pale pink. I thought it could be cute. I would just have to definitely wear fake tan. And there were some, like a couple other small bits. And then I saw that they were gonna be release, release, releasing, releasing uh, twin sets. And I was like, maybe this is a blessing in disguise or not because goodbye to my money. Uh, so I was looking for a top just like this. Like, so like kind of a double layered, simple white cami top. This is honestly, to wear with like my Lily. That's why I was getting a top like this to wear with all my Lily Pulitzer. If you don't know, I'm a big Lily Pulitzer lover. Uh, so I wanted something like this and this I found on ASOS. It was in my saved list already because it was from their sustainable edit and it's recycled polyester. So I was like, okay. And it was like a quarter of the price. So I was like, thank you. We're gonna go with this one. I think I got this, just for size reference, I got this in a UK 10, so same with the top. They're, they might be a little bit big, but overall, fine. I went with their like size guide, which is sometimes like really off, so. But I'm very excited to wear those in the summer. I just know that they're gonna be really versatile pieces. And then lastly, I got a dress. I got this really cute like uh, broderie, so do you say it, broderie anglaise? Broderie dress, it's tiered. Again, I'm not trying it on, you'll see it in the summer, but it's so cute and it has like little ties at the shoulder. I got this in a 12 because that's what the like fit suggester thing told me to get. It looks massive, so yeah. Like I'm small, I'm only five foot two, but I'm a little chunky. So maybe it'll be fine, but I just thought this would be so cute. Again, guess with what shoes? My Vea sneakers. But it'll also be cute, like sandals or wedges or something like that. And I like white because blonde, tan, I like that look. So that is it for my recent clothing haul. I love all these pieces. I'm very excited to style them, especially because I refrained, I think I said this in my last haul, I really refrained from shopping for about like seven months, I would say, last year at one point. And then again, a lot when I was in New York, I bought a couple pieces, but I really didn't go too crazy. And over the summer and stuff, I just didn't go too crazy. So I had my last haul, which maybe I'll link in the, I'll link over here. And then this one, they're kind of the recent ones. I'll also link my Riga travel guide because I wore those Vea sneakers a lot in Riga and it was super fun. Also, I'll leave a link to subscribe over here, which you should definitely do. And I will see you in my next video.